Well, we got Pat Murphy on the line from Buck Nuts talking up the Buckeyes this week. Um, and Pat and the rest of the media able to talk to running backs and linebackers this week. Uh, when we look at that linebacking core, much ridicule and criticism, although the play, I think, has been noticeably better the last few years. But a ton of productivity is gone. Uh, how does that size up at this point with, unfortunately, Dallas Gant uh, missing the rest of spring training, we know? It's essentially a, a whole new group um, in terms of guys that have really contributed for Ohio State. The names that, that Buckeye fans knew, whether they you know felt that they should be out there or not, and Tough Borland, Pete Warner, Baron Browning, and and really last year Justin Hilliard was almost that fourth starter, uh, all gone. Uh, you know, all, all graduated, all off. You know, hope to hopefully to have NFL careers. So you know, you've got to replace three spots there. Um, and you mentioned Dallas Gant. He's a guy who played a good amount last year in, in terms of a backup role at a middle linebacker. He, um, as you said, was is going to be out for the spring. Has a foot injury. Didn't really go into detail about it. Just said, you know, he's out for the spring and. He'll be back in the summer. He doesn't think it's going to set him back too much, but it's going to be a lot of mental reps, a lot of uh, mentoring younger guys, um, kind of, kind of, kind of being an, an extra coach on the sideline this spring for him. Which, for a guy who hasn't played a ton, probably not the best situation. But he is a senior, so he has gotten you know a, a good amount of experience um, you know throughout his career. And then he's got two classmates in Taraja Mitchell and Kayvon Pope, who I think a lot of people expect to kind of step into those roles. Um, you know, these are guys that we've talked about for, for a couple of years now is when are they going to step into to a bigger role? And it was always hard because those guys I mentioned earlier uh, were always there and, you know, they, they just they just never seem to leave. Tough Borland has been playing football for the Buckeyes, it seemed, for, you know, the last seven, eight years. Um, and, and beyond them, you know, there's going to be some other guys involved in the competition. Craig Young, Cody Simon, uh, Tommy Eichenberg was a guy who was talked about when we talked to to the linebackers a, a few times. Um, Mitchell Melton, a redshirt freshman. So you know, there, there, there's a number of guys that can you know potentially step in, and and it's it's also important to remember that Ohio State kind of uses that or has discussed at least using that hybrid safety uh, linebacker position at the Sam linebacker. Now the last two years. They've, they've stuck with a linebacker there. Pete Warner played that role two years ago and Baron Browning last year. Um, but this might be a year where you see more of a safety type. Um, it just depends on kind of who fits best with what they want to do. Court Williams is a guy who came in as a freshman last year, uh, injured his, I believe it was his knee before the season even started. But he was a guy specifically recruited to play that kind of hybrid role. Uh, Lathan Ransom, we saw late in the season last year. He's a safety but played a lot down towards the line of scrimmage in the box type of stuff. He could, he could do that. So while there are three technical linebacker positions, if Ohio state decides that they're better off with having one of the more hybrid type players that they've got on the, on the roster, on the field, maybe you're, you're now only talking about the the mic and the will as, um, as two spots up for grabs. We're talking about pure linebackers. Um, but, you know, I, I imagine that, that the older guys will, will fill out those spots, at least at the mic and the will. Dallas Gant and uh, Taraja Mitchell seem to be the most likely, but um, you know, it's, it's going to play out. I, you know, I have to keep reminding myself as we, you know, I talk about these guys and, and write about them, you know, they are only a few practices in the spring. So there's not a lot of answers yet. You know, they just put pads on Wednesday, like I said. So, you know, there's, there's a lot to still be filled out in, in these positions where there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, you know, hopefully as we progress further in the spring, we'll, we'll get some more answers and, you know, ideally get to see some of this and, and at the very least get to see, you know, some of these guys play in the spring game in mid-April.